Hey everyone, welcome back to Daughters of Ash. Uh, as soon as I launched the game, I was reminded that I'm stuck here. Out of all the places to be stuck at, uh, it has to be here. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I gotta remember to collect my shit because of the one humanity. That, that was wonderful. Uh, that was all stun lock. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try not to get salty here. There's a ch chance I will get salty. Uh, in fact, a pretty big chance. In fact, how this is going so far is kind of giving a good basis to um, all this. But anyways, I'll try my best, but I am fully willing to get the fuck out of here, I'm going to be honest with you. So difficult. Why is he so difficult to hit? <sighs> Welcome to Daughters of Ash, by the way. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll give this like one more or two more attempts and I'll I'll start cutting and we'll just I'll just beat him whenever and you just won't see it. Cause this is getting boring now. Um This is why like withholding the very large ember is a pretty shitty thing, I'm not gonna lie. Um like you know being kind of forcibly limited with what weapon you can use or like what level of equipment you can have I think is kind of a shitty thing but maybe that's just me okay I'll go pick that shit up I mean what I mean by that is uh, like these bosses were obviously designed for a plus 15 weapon uh, cause this is a late game area. I should do more of those. Those deal a lot of damage. Okay, just be careful. Cause I managed to stun it. At least I have stamina. Uh... nothing else you know this fucking what you call it ring oh I thought that was gonna hit ring of favor although I think it's renamed in this at least it gives you fucking stamina which apparently you need quite a lot of okay Ouch. Do I got him? Yeah, I got him. Okay, cool. Well, screw you, Sanctuary Guardian. That's all I can say. I really am curious uh, about the rest of the DLC, how much they're going to rearrange this, because... Personally, I feel like the DLC is fairly well put together and well paced. Uh, which you, know, you can make arguments about the second half of the main game uh, having shitty pacing, but this one I think is fairly good. So I'm hoping they don't really touch this, but we'll find out, I guess. We will find out. Uh. What I'm also gonna do, yeah, we'll use one because I feel like this is gonna be a important bonfire. Shit, I didn't check my time when I started recording. How long I, have I been going? Five minutes, something like that. Anyways, I'm not like on a strict time limit. It's just you know good to have some sort of overview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll help. 
We know. Uh, you sell gold pine, which is pretty good. We're gonna buy a couple of those. And the rest of this, I don't really have any useful. Use four. Oh yeah. People are reminding me that I should use up some of these consumable souls. Um, which makes sense. Oh god. Man. That's kind of pointless, I think. Like, realistically, using that in a fight. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'll use up my souls. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. That was a perfect... The perfect expression of my thoughts. Um, holy shit, camera. Chill out. Okay. We got an Elizabeth mushroom, which we found out in the lava isn't nearly as good as I remembered it being. I thought that shit made you, like, invincible. But apparently not. Alright, gardeners. I can see the rearrangement already. Hopefully they didn't become hostile because I attacked that one. Sorry I killed your gardener friend. Didn't mean to. Okay, no, they're hostile. Listen, I don't want to kill the help, but... It's like... I don't really have much of a choice. God, the R2 of this weapon deals a lot of damage. Listen, am I gonna have to seriously fight Artorius in this state? I.e. plus 10 weapon? That's gonna be... A gigantic pain in the ass. Oh, fuck. Hold on just a bit. Yeah, that's an ambush. That's an ambush if I've ever seen one. But we're gonna do a bait and switch like this. And get our asses kicked. Oh, that's a crystal lizard. I thought that was an item. Shit. Never mind. We can make a tactical retreat if we want. Exactly. Man, they have a lot of aggro range. What up, Calamite? Hey, don't you want to take these two out for me? Of course, you don't have a... Herd box. You can actually go through his model. So there's that. Oh man. Anyways. This is fairly familiar. How's everybody doing, by the way? I asked not on a live stream. So it's kind of pointless. You know, recently I've... Ever since Aftermath came out, I've been playing a lot of MK11, and I think any MK11 fan, if there are any, can kind of back me up on this, but man, is that game up and down for me. Um, sometimes I think it's really good, sometimes I'm like, okay, this is actually an awesome fighting game, uh, they did a pretty good job with it, netcode works and all that. Other times I'm like, fuck this game and fuck all of its mechanics. Um, this is kind of true for all NRS games, weirdly. Uh, it's like very up and down with how they work. One thing, you know, because I haven't been consistently playing MK for a long time, is that one thing I found out is that this game desperately, and I mean desperately, needs to have an update to their online systems, and I feel like it's never gonna happen uh, because knowing the NRS MO, 
Uh, they're already probably working on a new fighting game for when PS5 comes out. You know, probably the game is going to get patched one more time because there are some broken characters, but that's about it. But man, you know, like just the thing that... And I don't know how you fuck this up. Uh, you cannot filter out people on Wi-Fi. That's one thing. And you know, somebody playing on Wi-Fi is not an automatic uh, guarantee that their connection is shit. There is just an extremely high percentage of it being like that. Like there's very, very few occasions where a Wi-Fi will provide a very stable connection. And yeah, the fact that you cannot filter them out and the fact that like after a certain uh, or like if you're below a certain ping threshold, the game forces you to fight that opponent. Uh, even though we know with Wi-Fi it dips and bobs all the time. So you might have like the game might detect a good connection at the start, but when you get into the actual match, it's not good. Besides that, uh, you know, the other thing is that you literally cannot blacklist people. I was like, okay, don't allow me to filter out people on Wi-Fi. Okay, whatever. Um, but I fought a guy... Um, I know his name by now. I got I got his name and number. Uh, this dude is literally teleporting. Like, that's how it is. And, you know, I can be pressing buttons and nothing is happening half the time. And he's just kicking my ass. And I got mashed against him three times. And by the third time, I was like so pissed. And I'm like, fuck, like seriously. Like, it would literally, literally be no effort to add a blacklist. I mean, Street Fighter, which is a game with infamously shit netcode, the thing that saves that game is that you can blacklist people who are like clearly, clearly so shitty with their connection that it's not even worth it. Yeah, just add a filter or blacklist. But again, I feel like it's never ever gonna happen. Because you know, if like MK11 was like a tiny fighting game, um, with like, I don't know, 100 players online at one time, I could, I could be, I could understand it. I could be like, okay, it's a small game, you know, you want to be able to be matched against as many people as possible, but MK11 is huge, like, the player base of that game is massive, so you're not exactly risking, uh, you know, like, cutting the player base in half uh, by letting people filter out, you know, let the Wi-Fi players deal with other Wi-Fi players. I say, I cannot believe this. Is, I cannot believe this is actually happening. That I'm about to fight Artorias with um, only a plus ten weapon. This is this is actually happening. This is gonna be awful. Oh no. And I know where the very large ember is. It's past him. It's past him. This is gonna be fucking dreadful. We've seen the cutscene a billion times. Thank you. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't like this. I, I seriously don't like this. Um, oh, it sticks to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. no. This is exactly what I was dreading. Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? <sighs> this, is, this is literally awful. Like, Artorias is fucking annoying. Even with a plus 15 weapon, because his defenses are insanely high. The best of days. Like, look at how much damage I dealt there. <sighs> Man. Talk about artificial difficulty. Um, this is it. You're looking at it.
so yeah this is what our life is, is gonna be for the next while um it's gonna be me trying to fight artorias like this So yeah. We might as well two hand like maximize the damage. Okay. Interesting. Okay, maybe this one won't be so bad if I can get counters. I mean, again, at least my stamina is, um, oh shit, I'll be careful. The pain train, fuck, that does a lot of damage. I managed to queue up my roll already uh, backwards, which I realized was a mistake as soon as I saw what attack he was going for. Um, how are we doing on time? Okay. See, I hate this. I hate when I'm like halfway through an episode and I get stuck like this because it's like, what do I do? I mean, I could just uh, cut out all these attempts, uh, which is a possibility. But I really got to look up like how exactly to get this very large ember because... You know once I beat this motherfucker, that's the first thing I'm going to be doing, and it's plus 15 from there. The thing is, I don't even know if this is necessary for... I'm guessing the DLC is DLC, still. Like, you don't have to go through this to beat the game, I think. But if I don't do this, I'm going to be stuck with a plus 10 weapon for, like, four kings and all that shit. Which is no bueno, um, that is muy no bueno, so we might as well just rip this band-aid off, you know. And you know, I know the tactic to him is obviously it's to stick close to him. It's always been the tactic. I was just about to say he's gonna do that. Okay. I think you were... You missed a little bit on that. Yep. What is he gonna do? Perfect. Oh god, healing is slow in this game. Somebody who's streaming Dark Souls 3 currently. Man, is it slow. I mean, more like Dark Souls 3 is way too fast. That's... And the cancel. Oh shit. Ah, I'm always getting hit by that. He's pissed. What is he gonna do? He's liking that attack. Oh fuck. Should've healed. Sorry, this is like taking legit concentration, more like 
the lack of me, you know, wanting to die and having to do this again. It's more like what's driving me. R2. Man, I've missed every single R2 so far. This boy is pretty fast. Ah, shit. I'm doing okay on, like, healing and shit. Ah, okay, that was only a partial. Oh, he hasn't done that. Okay. I've actually missed every single one of my <laughs> R2s. Oh, fuck. Can't believe that clipped me. Okay, now we're not doing so hard on healing. I was very... Very confident before. That motherfucking attack. See, and I know... <clears throat> and I know he's really weak to... 100% physical block shields. But... Mm, okay. But the thought of dealing even less damage to him is is not good. This is gonna come down to the wire. Oh yeah, bitch. Eat shit. No! Oh, okay, how did that avoid me? Or how did I avoid that? More like... Seriously, <laughs> I should deactivate my R2. Okay. So I know people have done this with like base level weapons and shit, but still. The one R2 that connected. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Maybe I was overhyping that a little bit. I will admit. I will fully admit that. And now the thing we need. Oh, no bonfire. Wonderful. It's exactly What we need? 40,000 souls, that's pretty okay. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is... We'll check in here, there is no fog gate. Maybe these tricksters put... The bonfire here. Don't go online on this in this mod, I think. Cause you can get... You can get like banned. Although, nobody fucking plays this game online anymore, but... You know. Still, pro tip. Do not go online if you have mods installed. I, with the exception of like visual bug fixes, I think those are okay. But with this one, the game might detect um, you as a cheater and ban your ass like Nightbot. I can hear the boy. And that boy is an important boy. Okay, so there's seriously no bonfire here. Which is lovely. Mm. Shit. I don't like that. Oh, he spawned a bonfire. Damn. The bonfire just like sprouted out of the ground. Cool. Health and dex. That's I mean health and endurance, that's gonna be the the motto from now on. That's what we're gonna go for. I'll go on for a little bit more here. Um seeing what tricks they've pulled in this area. Now obviously I should kindle it up. 
the sanded township come on some of these areas sound stupid uh the worst one so far was fetid slagmire is that how they renamed the swamp i think so that was oh fuck 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 i forgot yeah because normally this resets when you upgrade the weapon but i haven't upgraded my weapon in ages luckily the boy thought ahead and he bought a repair box yep he did in fact i'm gonna repair all my shit hold on inventory management i mean some of these are like whatever but the other one's not so much whatever um yeah so third time coming through this area or starting this area hopefully this is gonna be the one okay maybe it's not okay this is super going wrong that was awful descended township goddamn fetid slagmire Yeah, that one was the worst one so far, I think. The other ones have... Some of these have been okay, but... Listen. Oh. When I'm finished with this mod, I'll give my full thoughts on it. Um, and I'll, like, spill the beans on what I think of all portions of it. Because I got some beans to spill. How much do you want to bet that the fucking broken pendant is going to be... Wait, do I even have something to light? Like a skull lantern or something? Yes, I do. Okay. I bet you the place is gonna contain like the normal pendant or the broken pendant or something. Cause that's what I was thinking, you know, when I got the silver. Maybe it will contain the Covenant of Artorias. What I mean by that is I have a feeling that they put some important item there. So we'll go check it out. Only unfortunate thing is I always have trouble finding it. That place. You know which place. Okay, somebody's shooting magic. It's here, right? Oh, I knew it. I was just about to say, when am I going to get... I see you. This is definitely something important then. What a fucking dick move. Always check the chains. You gotta always check the chains. Okay. Humanity. Nice. I was expecting something more. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get blasted. Yes, I am. Nice. So, so archery is still an option against these enemies. Oops. Something, okay. I heard something drop down. Can't catch me with your tricks. I'm sorry, carving. Okay, looks like the, the carvings are intact. Okay. 
They made this room less annoying. Which I'm very happy about. Because I always hated this room. It's another mimic. No, it's not. I'm just making sure. Just making sure. It is blue and red titanite. I think that's it, right? Oh no, there's this. Soul of a Doom titanite slab. Man! I really gotta find that fucking... What do you drop? Do you drop a carving as well? Um, I guess not. I guess he doesn't. Okay. Gotta like get my shit together here. Uh, I'll go back to the bonfire. Because I'm, as you can see, out of resources. And I think with that, I've literally lost track of how long I've been going. But... I guess we'll wrap it up here. Okay, this... I may have been like a little bitch and over-dramatized... -dram dramatized, it's a strange word. The situation a little bit. Because this... <clears throat> wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. So I'm going to... Shut up from now on. And I'm gonna look up Google how to get the very large ember. The very large ember. Yeah. That's what's gonna be happening. I'll wrap it up here then, guys. Thanks for watching. And peace out with Bonfire in sight. Goodbye.